Think about your typical day. You'll spend most of your time inside buildings. They're man-made ecosystems that affect your health and well-being and shape your behavior. They protect you from environmental dangers and provide you with comfortable conditions year-round. But until recently, to do this, they've also used much of the world's energy and natural resources. Today, traditional approaches to building design are rapidly changing, and energy-efficient, environmentally sustainable green buildings are the future. In design and environmental analysis, we focus on the human-centered, sustainable design of green buildings. We uniquely blend the best of leading-edge design thinking with the latest behavioral science research to solve real-world sustainable design problems. Our students use their design skills and research talents, knowledge and sensitivities to creatively design and research places that ultimately will provide people with better futures. Our students will be tomorrow's change agents. We push the envelope of their design thinking and research skills and challenge them to create imaginative and sustainable places where people will live, learn, heal, play and work. Places that will inspire. Places that they will love. To help in this process, we invite the best and brightest minds to talk with our students and we charge them with posing provocative questions and delivering inspirational presentations that will expand our horizons. Today's talk is delivered by Rick Fedrizi, co-founder and president of the US Green Building Council and CEO of the World Green Building Council. Rick is a change agent who designed the LEED system to help designers and building owners understand how to create more sustainable and energy efficient buildings. You know, I think what's striking me more than anything is the idea that everything that's been done here at the university and DEA relative to embracing the principles of sustainability through what you have to work with, which is the building and the classrooms and the furniture and the materials and everything. Uh, the way that that fits within the, the, the curriculum and what your students care about, the idea that all of this can become a living laboratory that people can engage not only in and ideas and strategies, but they can walk down the hall and they can feel it and touch it and experience it. That's the best you can hope for in a learning institution of any kind. Cornell has done an amazing job of embracing the future and what a stunning achievement it is for all of you. His vision has revolutionized the design and construction industry worldwide. His presentation, titled People, Planet and Performance, will provide a glimpse into where we've been, where we are today, and lay out the challenges we face for a brighter and better tomorrow.